Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and instead of taking a week off, we're back at it again with another episode. Well, at least that means one thing. That's right, Jess. Wrestling figures. Oh, oh please, don't tell me it's more indie garbage. Who the fuck are you supposed to be? As if you didn't know, I'm Mark Mostly. I run the WWE Figs Mark Out Jobber Squad for Life YouTube channel. I have all the WWE figures from LJN to Mattel. Okay, so what? Wrestling fans don't care about things outside of the WWE. Is that so? Oh no, here we go. Well then, tell me, Mork. It's Mark. It sure is. Tell me how wrestling fans don't care about things outside of the WWE. Well, first of all... Yeah, tell me how anybody who watches the WWE can even call themselves wrestling fans since that company hasn't allowed them to even say wrestling or call what they do wrestling or call themselves wrestlers for like the past fucking 15 years. Just shut the fuck up. You say you have all the WWE figures from LJN to Mattel? That's right. Well, what about SH Figure Arts? That sounds made up. Well, Mark, hold on to your overpriced collectibles because we're reviewing SH Figure Arts. Raz Holly, hit the music! Years ago, I was wandering around at Toys R Us of all places with Raz Holly. I was checking out the action figures when a little box caught my eye. It was the WWE Superstar Series Stone Cold Steve Austin by Bandai's collector line SH Figure Arts. God damn, this box was busy. There's words and letters and images and graphics and logos and horse shit all over this tiny box. But inside the box, is a 112 scale Stone Cold Steve Austin figure that looked fucking amazing. It was so realistic looking. Honestly, I'd never seen a wrestling action figure that looked so good. With extra hands, heads, and great accessories, I was immediately sold and had to have it. The price was pretty high, so I ordered one online a while later. Long story short, I did a review, the goddamn thing broke a few days later, and I tossed it out. I would eventually chalk it up to bad luck, and figured that they all wouldn't be pieces of shit. So eventually, I got them all. So, are they all pieces of shit? We're about to find out. Alright, so from 2016, I believe... These are the SH Figure Arts, uh, Tamashi Nations, Bandai, all kinds of different goddamn companies. Uh, WWE Superstar Series, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, The Rock, Triple H, Kane, and The Undertaker. But right now we're looking at Stone Cold Steve Austin. And look at this busy ass box. Jesus Christ. It says because Stone Cold said so. It's got a skull. It has a picture of the figure. You can barely see the figure inside the box. But he is very, very cool looking. Um, he has, uh, it comes with multiple heads. Comes with, looks like four heads um, that we can see. Um, I, I used to have one of these, so I do know what it comes with. He comes with a couple cans of beer, um, and he comes with uh, different hands, and um, look at all the different shit that he can do on the back of the box, which you can barely see, because it has to say Texas Rattlesnake, and Stunner, and Austin 360. This looks like it was designed by someone that just got fucking Photoshop. 
Like, look at all the crap I can just put on this. It's and then, and then all the legal mumbo jumbo in multiple languages. Again, these are imported um, from overseas, uh, uh, Japan, I believe, and uh, made in China like every other goddamn thing. Um, and you have the picture of the figure on the side of the box. Just a little bit more simple and kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, Triple H, kind of kind of the same fucking story with him. We got the logo, we got the, the, the insignia, we got the King of Kings, we got the fucking, the picture of the figure, and then up here, very tiny, see the picture? There, you see the actual figure. Uh, the figure's very small in the box compared to all the mumbo jumbo and, and horse shit that is all over the package. You can kind of see him with his really goofy look on his face. We'll see that later when we open it up. Um, we've got the, the game, King of Kings, pedigree. <sighs> And you can see what he can do a little bit um, with all the graphics and, and horse shit, but at least you have pictures of the figure to kind of show it off here. Um, WWE Superstar Series Triple H. It does show him with a uh, with a sledgehammer. Does he come with his sledgehammer? I can't fucking tell, but we're going to find out when we take a look at him. Let's take a look now at The Rock. Insignia. Um, if you smell what The Rock is cooking, of course, we have the giant picture of the figure, and um, and there's The Rock hiding back there. Um, what does he come with? I don't know. Maybe extra heads? Maybe, look at that, they had him in a ring. Did SH Figure Arts plan on making a ring? Or did they just use some other ring toy? I don't know. Um, but yeah. He comes with different heads. One of them's got sunglasses. One of them's yelling. One of them's got like a smirk in the eyebrow. We're gonna see them all here in a minute. Um, but first, look at this. Rock bottom, the people's champion. Bring it. Oh, God damn it, these things are, I'm getting tired looking at these fucking boxes. They're so fucking busy. Later on, they would make the boxes bigger. Um, so as we see for The Undertaker, it looks the same. They just stretched it out. Um, he has multiple heads as well. He has a hat. He has hands. Um, he looks to be, and they look a little bit larger, but then again, Kane and The Undertaker are larger than these three fuckers. So, and then on the back, rest in peace, tombstone, dead man, blah, blah, blah. And they added this at the top here, the fighting bunny. Um, so, we'll find out what the fighting bunny is. So, there you go. Also, fighting bunny. Kane. Uh, the big red monster, Kane. <laughs> they didn't have a whole lot of shit to put on there for him. Does come with the mask. The more modern, they made him look a little bit more modern in this. He doesn't have an old school head, which kind of sucks. I would have liked more of the uh, the Attitude Era style Kane. That would have been nice. Um, but yeah, he's doing a choke slam, big red machine, choke slam, the devil's favorite demon. Jesus Christ. And so there you go, let's see what these fucking things look like outside of the box. Okay, so let's start with Triple H. Um, this is a, a 112 scale figure. They're about six inches tall. I know that, the, you know, they're actually in, in scale with each other too, because the guys that are supposed to be taller than the other ones are, are taller and shorter and so on and so forth. Um, but you know, you kind of get what you'd expect from these, all the different uh, articulation. I won't go through every single goddamn thing it does. It's pretty obvious um, that what you can do with these things. Um, they're very, very realistic. The poses are great. The ones that I chose to look at here, I kind of picked like the sort of best case scenario heads for each and every guy uh, to show live, but we'll see pictures of them as we go. Um, this is the uh, standard angry face Triple H. There is also a weird smirking face Triple H and a angry ah face Triple H. Um, this is the one that I, I like the best. It seems to look the most like him. Um, kind of weird. Um, here's something. Um, when you go to change it, you don't change the entire head. Well, that's... So that's fucking disturbing. You just take that off and, uh, yeah, and the, and the face gets replaced. Um, yeah, these are very, very poseable. You gotta be kind of gentle with them um, because, again, 
like I said before, um, they can break pretty easily. Um, but they are nice. They're not really necessarily made to be played with, um, but very, very fucking cool. Um, they all come with different hands. Triple H comes with these grabby hand job hands um, so he can hold his, uh, his sledgehammer, um, which is pretty neat. And he has a bottle, a bottle of water as well, so he can kind of do all of his entrance poses and stuff. He's got his boots, his knee pads. Um, the little insignia looks great on the dick. And um, yeah, the paint job looks great. The muscle shading, everything. Um, very, very nice. These are, these are something that would be cool on a shelf or whatever. I don't know who's necessarily going to want fucking Triple H um, for, their <laughs> for their shelf. I mean, he's cool, I guess. Um, but would he be your first choice? I don't know. Let me know in the fucking comments and tell me why the fuck his hair's gold. Why is it gold? I mean, I guess they were trying to get that wet look, the blonde wet look. It's fucking gold. He has gold hair. Why is it every time they try to make something look like gold nowadays, it looks like cheese, but then now Triple H's fucking hair's gold. Any, anyway, that's fucking Triple H. Next. If you smell what The Rock is cooking, here he is. It's, it's Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, the star of movies, stage, and screen. Um, he's got his little cutout boots. He's got his rock insignia. He's got his elbow pads, which I think they should just give you removable elbow pads so he can do the whole people's elbow thing. It does come with lots of different hands. He's got pointy finger hands for some reason. He's got the just bring it hand um and uh he, this is the head that i chose for him the, the the people's eyebrow head huh so he's got the people's eyebrow going he also has a yelling uh head and a, a too cool for school sunglasses head very cool he looks he looks very very cool um he does look kind of weird with sunglasses and just standing there in his underwear but uh yeah the rock's cool again super posable he does the, the crunchies and all that great stuff uh twist and turn you can do whatever you want with him he's fucking great now on to uh the undertaker's sassy brother kane and i gave him this sassy look with his hand on his hip and a smile on his face. He looks like a sassy Silver Age superhero. Look at him. Ha ha. My name's Kane. Ha. Um, that's not what he sounds like. At least I don't think so. I mean, unless they've changed something in the past few years. I haven't watched WWE in a while. Um, I don't think they, they might have changed Kane that much. Is he still even around? I mean, he's like 100 years old or some shit. Um, but yeah. They've got, he has some pretty good heads. He has a like two angry faces. He has this weird smiling face, which I actually like. I think it's pretty funny. And he has a uh, one with the mask. This is a more modern look, I guess, for him. Um, I don't really like the modern look. I like the old school, like full mask cane. That would have been cool to give me a head for that. Like that would have been fine. He would have went with this outfit. I mean, even though it doesn't necessarily go, like it's close to fuck enough. Um, but yeah, he does everything that you would expect him to do. Very poseable, um, nice detail. Every, all the details on these are very, very fucking cool. It looks like you're holding a fucking person in your hand. <laughs> they are very fucking cool, but they are, they can be pricey now that they are uh, kind of out of circulation or out of production, print, what? I don't know what the fuck to call them, but yeah, that's Kane. And there he is, the dead man, the Undertaker, with hat! He comes with a hat! There you go, Raz is a Simpsons reference. Um, yeah, and he's got his uh, Undertaker hands that I gave him. He also has like a thumbs up hand for some fucking reason. I, I don't know if he started doing kind of a Hacksaw Jim Duggan thing, or um, he does something with his thumb. He does like a fucking thumb eye poke or a fucking Asiatic thrust or some shit. Again, haven't watched WWE in a while. I'm not sure what The Undertaker's up to. Again, probably think he should probably be, be retired, right? Like, I mean, he's, he's like a million years old. I remember when he first fucking showed up in 1990, I was a little kid. Um, and yeah, his tattoos look fucking wonderful. Um, he's got the gloves or whatever. Again, this is more of a fucking modern look for The Undertaker. I chose this face. He has, he has one with the eyeballs uh, rolled back. And he has one with the tongue out and the eyeballs rolled back. And then one where he's kind of looking off to the side for some fucking reason. Uh, you know, as he's wont to do, sometimes Undertaker has to look off to the side. Um, it, it all, they can remove all the heads if you want. Um, on The Undertaker, he's got this uh, thing. The, the heads are all kind of like short hair Undertaker and you have this little hair piece of shit 
that you put on there. And then you can kind of give him like an early 2000s look if you want. Look, it's Booger Red. It's Booger Red Undertaker. Oh my God. Go, oh, by God. Uh, one more thing about The Undertaker. Um, if you're wondering, um, does he do The Undertaker pose? And as far as I know, this is the only Undertaker figure um, that I've seen that does it fucking correctly. Uh, does it perfect. It's fu You know what? At first I wanted to shit on The Undertaker figure because I think The Undertaker is a little bit overrated. Don't fucking at me. Um, but... The, the doing the pose and stuff it is really fucking cool because it really looks like him and uh, that's a lot of fun although my only critique again I wish this was um, like Stone Cold Triple H and The Rock was more of an attitude or I'm sorry attitude era uh, figure um, or, or style uh, of clothes or whatever but you know there he is it's The Undertaker and I saved my favorite for last. It's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, from head to toe, this thing is fucking rad. He comes with multiple heads. He has one with kind of a grin. He has one where he's like, ah, and he's got one, um, another one uh, that he looks, you know, slightly more angry um, than this one. This is like the standard, just kind of neutral Steve Austin neutral Steve Austin little known um, Steve Austin gimmick neutral Steve Austin uh, he has 316 Austin down the side on the on the vest the skull the 100% whoop ass on the back of the vest um, got the the uh, Texas tattoo and his his fucking knee braces um, they are built on no I no. yeah part of them it's molded on Part of it, I think, is, is glued or attached, um, but does not uh, affect his flexibility at all. Um, he does have a full knee bend. He's got the, the tummy crunch or whatever like they do. Um, he's fucking dope. Uh, the cool thing about Steve Austin, he does everything that Steve Austin does in real life. He can do stunners. He can do what we can drink beers. He does come with little cans of beers, and you can, you can have him we're doing a beer bash, and especially this. You can have him do this. This is what makes him the best Stone Cold Steve Austin figure is the middle fucking finger. <laughs> Look at that. Look at what? What? Look at me. I'm Stone Cold and I got a goddamn finger. What? What? Wow. All in all, this line is pretty cool. My main gripe would be that there were only five figures in the series. It would have been cool to see Mankind, Kurt Angle, and other wrestlers from that era in this style. And if that had worked out, I would have loved to have seen a ring playset. Not that I would have relished having to pay what I assume would be a few hundred dollars for an SH Figure Arts ring, but with the level of detail and design that goes into their figures, it would have been cool to see. But as far as I know, the series was finished in 2018 and no new figures have been made since. Well, that's SH Figure Arts. Tell us below in the comments what you thought of these higher-end wrestling figures. Well, let me just say... I didn't ask you. Well, I think... And you can fuck off and die for all I care. Oh, sick burn. And we'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music!